In this class we will create knitted primitives such as, box, cone, cylinder, pyramid, sphere, wedge and toroid. To get started, open a new 3D academic file. To access the primitive mesh objects, we can click on the icons in the Mesh tab, Primitives panel, or simply type Mesh on the command line and press Enter. The basic mesh shapes, known as primitive meshes, are equivalent to primitive shapes for 3D solids. By default, new primitive meshes are created without smoothness but we can access the settings and change the smoothness levels. On the command line we type mesh and hit enter. The first available mesh primitive is the box, and to access it simply press enter, as it is the default option. We randomly click on the graphic area and type at 50, 50. Look, we have a box divided into subsides. Note that we have the shaded with edges view style enabled, making it easy to view the subfaces. You can reformat mesh objects by smoothing, bending, fine tuning, and splitting faces. You can also drag edges, faces, and vertices to shape the shape. Note. These editing possibilities we call organic modeling and we will explore throughout the module. Another mesh primitive that we have is the cone, accessed in the Mesh tab, Primitives panel. After activating it, simply click on the graphic area and inform its center, base radius and height. See, we have a cone with a circular base. But the base can also be elliptical and the conicity can be symmetrical to a point or flat face. Now let's create a cylinder, informing its center, radius and height. Notice how easy it is to get this form. To create a pyramid, we inform its center or the size of one of the edges in the edge option. The sides option controls the number of sides of a pyramid, which can range from 3 to 32 sides. For example, let's create a pyramid with 6 sides, 25 mm each, and a height of 50 mm. Look, we have the pyramid completed. We can also create spheres, wedges and toroids. It is important to note the similarity in the options for creating primitives of knitwear and solids. We have seen in this class how to create knitting primitives in AutoCAD 2017.